Hi, it's Amy from Raisin Ronies. Um, I just wanted to update y'all. I haven't been on here much. Um, well, it's been a while. I may have some videos that I just hadn't had time to edit. We've been preparing for Hurricane Ida. 16 years ago, Katrina hit us. Even though we're an hour and a half away from the coast, um, we were without power almost three weeks here, and it was bad. But luckily, because we do live in the country, we do have freezers and stuff like that. At that time, my mom and dad was still together. We all gathered up their house, and we had a good time. We didn't have to work. It was kind of a vacation for us. I was thinking about that earlier and telling Faith about some things, and we, at my place, I had a mobile home across the road from my mom and dad. Well, I'm gonna sit down right here and try to get comfortable. When um, Hurricane Tr Katrina hit 16 years ago, I had a mobile home across from my parents. My mom, Wanda, with crazy days. We always done gardens and different things, had freezers full of stuff. I went and stayed at their house since I lived in a mobile home. My sister, Maggie, was there. Um, my brothers, I can't remember if all three of them was there. I know at least two of them, but I think all of us was there. My um, middle brother, he actually made a oven out of sheet metal and we cooked on it. I made biscuits, pizzas, cor um, cornbread, just all kinds of stuff to go with stuff that we had in the freezer. We would cook peas and corn and we ate good. We did not miss anything whatsoever. You couldn't get gas, which luckily we had enough. We went and filled up our cars and different things like that. We had generators. Now, my dad took the washing machine from my mom's and went and put it up at my house because after it had happened, I had a water well. So we still got to wash our clothes. So, and we plus, we gave everybody water. If somebody needed water or anything like that, because most people had public water, you know, if you didn't have a water well, which not very many people around did, they needed water. So um, they knew to come to my house and get water. We um, run the generator for a little while to give water to people. And in the meantime, we would wash clothes. And we didn't use the generator for drying clothes. We hung them out. We looked crazy. I, if I could go back and find some pictures, I wish I could. I know my sister may have some of my mom. And after my mom's seeing this, she may post or send me some later. But we had them hanging on all the trees that was laying down dead <laughs> that had fallen over and stuff. We looked like we lived out and had nothing. That we were some poor people. There was just clothes hanging all over trees and stuff but we had clean clothes. Um, at that time, my mom had a small pool out there. We would go get shot bass in it, or we'd use the um, water from the pool to flush the toilets. Um, in the meantime, my dad would also, when we wasn't washing clothes or giving people water, he would hook up my mobile home and we could take showers in it because you could just plug it up real easy. So, <laughs> I know a lot of people had it really bad and no, we didn't have AC all the time or this or that or ice or anything, but that was fine. We were healthy. We were happy. We made the best of it. We made some good memories. It was kind of crazy, but we made some good memories. Um, it was just, I look back and see how close we were and getting to sit and fellowship and eat and just enjoy. We didn't worry about anything. Um, the storm was over. We were all okay and we had each other. So the past few days around here, we have been preparing for if it does come pretty bad. My husband's concerns is not the storm as bad because he said it should only get 50 to 60 mile wind weather here. It scares me with the tornadoes that can pop up. Um, I really don't wanna be in this double wide why a storm could pop up because it could wipe everything out here. I've seen it happen around our area before and it's devastation, it kills people and you lose everything. So we're trying to figure out where are we going to go. 
we have been saying for 10 years that we're gonna do a storm shelter and we wait until there's a storm coming and then it's too late. So we have a couple of options. Um, we could go to the church, to the basement, but with COVID, it kind of scares us because when Katrina was coming, there's so many people down there, you had to step over people and things. And I know me and two of our children, Brian's vaccinated and stuff and probably won't worry, but what about our other children? The twins have already got like a cold and a cough and they still haven't got over since I showed y'all that last video that I took them to the doctor and they don't have COVID. Well, they're still sick. Their immune system's down. Samuel kind of has it. You can hear my voice. It's kind of going in and out. I've got a runny nose and stuff. We could catch something quicker by us being sick. And I really don't want the children to get sicker or catch something or even COVID or whatever we have. I don't want to give it to somebody. If it comes to life or death, yes, we can go there and run and stay. It's only five to six takes about seven minutes to get to church. We can't go up there. But we're thinking about going to Brian's shop, but it would probably get hit worse there in Columbia than it would here. So it kind of concerns me, but it is a block building. But <laughs> even in a block building that can come tumbling down, I've seen some buildings destroyed that's like his, but I think we'd be safer there than being in our mobile home. But we had to get our generators. We don't want to go too far away because we did have to get our generators together and all that because the mobile home, part of it's on well water. And we have to put one up there and get that well going so they will not be without water. We've got a generator here. Um, once the storm's over and everything, we'll, if our camper and everything's still here, we'll move into our camper and we can run off of it and live, you know, just happily stay cool, um, have our ice, whatever we need. Um, be like camping anywhere. So we'll be fine. My concern is during the storm, when it starts moving up here, how bad will it get? And when we get tornadoes that come off that will destroy everything around here. Brian, he had to go do my Walmart pickup. Um, every time I try to do one, everything's gone. No bread, no this, no that. Um, the pictures I've seen on Facebook, my friends and family, anywhere from the coast all the way toward Jackson, everything's wiped out. I mean, it is scary. Um, you can't get bottled water, which luckily we already have bottled water. We keep extra here. We have bread in the freezer. We, we, we're a big family, so I prepare for plenty and plus we have food we've put up from the garden and things so you know we're not going to starve or do without but there was a few things from toothpaste to um, get some more milk for the babies um, I'm actually getting some canned milk in case um, we do run out of power or do something we can open and um, have some milk for them because I know they're almost two, but they still think they have to take a nap with their sippy cups and go to sleep at night with their sippy cups. So we have to have some milk from them. When Brian gets back from our Walmart trip or his Walmart pickup, I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna talk to him and see what the best plan will be for us. Where do we need to go? Where do we need to stay? Our problem is when it hits around here, it'll probably be about four or five o'clock in the morning. And nine of us with seven children, that's gonna be the hardest. Um, you don't wanna just wait and pick up, go first thing that morning with that many of us, or if you have alert, our phone does let us know, you know, when there's a tornado coming and different things like that. But you don't have much time, not at all. And especially to get our big family in a van and get somewhere real quick, because we don't have a lot of places to go. We're gonna try to sit down and get us a plan together. And um, I'll try to update you if it gets bad here or anything like that. As you can tell, it's just sprinkling. I did get our yard mowed yesterday and at the pond for my father-in-law's. It's just very calm. It's just raining. 
Um, the sky is a little dark. We've never went live. If it gets really bad and we have internet service, we might try live. I don't know, I'm scared to do that. I'm not good at talking. I have to edit all my videos or my daughter does and she's like, mom, you say um way too many times and whew, I'm not a good speaker, but this is me. And um, maybe Brian and I can get on here and do a live, I don't know. But um, I'll try to keep you posted of how it is up here around Hattiesburg, Columbia, Sumrall area of our weather with Hurricane Ida coming. Um, just keep us in your prayers that um, we'll be safe from harm's way. Keep my mom and Danny in your prayers. They're closer. They're 45 minutes t closer to the coast than us. They do have a storm shelter, so, you know, I feel positive they're going to be okay. Just keep them in your prayers because, you know, you never know what can happen. But most of my family lives around us here. From this area down, those are the ones that concern me and the ones that's toward Louisiana. But I think most of those have evacuated. But if you will, keep everyone in Hurricane Otis path and your prayers that God will protect everyone. And um, we'll try to make some videos and upload when we can. Our thoughts and prayers go out to y'all that are in the eye of the storm or tornadoes or anything like that. We're in prayer for y'all in your home and your families. Y'all please be safe from Raising Ronnie's. Have a blessed day.